Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, get all the updates. What's up for today's video? I've heard actually a lot of good things from this brewery. So when I did the unboxing, the beer's courtesy of Sierra Hotel. Thank you much, I really appreciate it. So when I did, when I, uh, did the unboxing, uh, a couple of people reached out. They're like, oh yeah, I'm like super stoked that you get to try something from everywhere. Um, yeah, so I'm, yeah, I'm really excited. Harmoniously, uh, double dry hopped, hazy double IPA, uh, 8.2% ABV. They have a QR code. Uh, I did not scan it. Um, you know, I typically go in these reviews, you know, just what's on the can, the bottle, and then everything else I'm relatively blind on. So I'll probably do it afterwards. So if there's anything of note, I'll put it in the description box below. All right. Nice full fill, that's for sure. Beer's uh, about five weeks old, time review, if you care about that sort of thing. Doesn't bother me with this style, but I know some people are super like fresh. All right, so I thought I poured it relatively aggressive, but maybe not, so not a lot of head. The beer itself, uh, that beautiful orange yellow color, definitely hazy, um, not full on turbid or anything, but it definitely looks New England style, hazy double IPA for sure, like IPA, double IPA in that realm. Um, there are some like particulates floating around, some, uh, some delicious hoppiness, but yeah, not a lot of head. Just for science. Okay, so yeah, that got a little bit more going. Yeah, fair enough. It's uh, relatively compact on the bottom. We're touching the liquid, and then it breaks up at the top. Pretty typical. Let's get to the aroma. A lot of uh, peach skins. Uh, in some of like you bit into the peach and you get some of the the juiciness of a peach, but you know peach skins, apricot skins, kind of hits me that way with the pitted fruit. A um, little bit of citrus. Is it dank? A danky lemon note for sure. Not so much that pink lemonade thing I get sometimes, but more real lemonade because there's a there's a, a real lemon component and a sweetness like you when you add the sugar to the lemons and the water to make lemonade. So more of you actually made lemonade than yeah like a pink lemonade. Yeah, so a couple of citrusy notes, some of the stone fruit things, pitted fruit things. Yeah, fruity, a little bit of dank. I hate to say that's all I'm getting because what I'm getting smells really good and there are multiple things I'm getting. But I also can't rattle off a dozen other things. So, uh, but yeah, smells good. That's the most important thing. Juicy, uh, uh, but not overly juicy, not overly ripe. It does have the, the, the skin thing as well. Uh, but yeah, smells good. It's going to taste. Cheers. Hope everyone is doing well and uh, living their best life, right? That's nice. That, ooh. Yeah, that's nice. Good level of bitterness. One, one of the more bitter ones I've had lately where you see it and you're like, all right, I know there's going to be some bitterness to it. This one, and I love, if you don't know, I came up what only you could get West Coast style IPAs, right? So like, I'm not uh, uh, shy about loving bitterness. This has a good bitterness to it. This is one of those ones that it, it hits a lot of the things that it's supposed to, but there's a, there's at least a couple things that are a little different. I would say that how the bitterness hits in this is a little different for the style, and I'm here for it. Um, <clears throat> you get the citrus. Basically, how I was thinking... I would based on the aroma. The lemonade thing, a little bit more lemony citric acid than the sweetness of the sugar that you get in lemonade, uh, but it does not go to pink lemonade for me. More, the, again, the real lemonade, like I got in the aroma. Some of the peach apricot stuff. There is a, a little bit of a tropical thing Guava comes to mind, so that's cool. Did not get that in the aroma at all. The bitterness is wrong. There, there is sweetness to it. There is ripe fruit to it. But there's just... It, it's interesting because there's a bitterness through line, but it's not the same intensity and taste the whole time either. So that's kind of cool, like, you know, up and down a little bit, but always consistent. Aftertaste is... It, it, it's relatively dry... Uh, it's a little pithy, which is cool. So you're experiencing a lot of different stuff in the sip. Even after tasting it, the aroma doesn't change much for me. You know, sometimes that can happen. Yeah, 
Yeah, nice mouthfeel. A little creaminess to it. There is some good sweetness. I, I hope I'm not overselling the bitterness. It just is more bitter than a lot of these. Um, and it's... I know lemons are sour, but the bitterness at times is really interwoven with the lemon note that I'm getting. Not quite honeydew melon, but a mystery melon, I'll call it. There's a lot going on. This is interesting. I, I definitely, I tell you what, it has piqued my interest where I'm definitely going to scan the QR code and see if that is more information. Maybe it's just information about the brewery, but hopefully it's information about this beer, hop, hops, that kind of, maybe they have some tasting notes. So if I can find that stuff, like I said, I'll put it in the description box below. Uh, Sierra Hotel, thank you again for this beer. It's quite good. And I know we've talked offline. You know, you have a beer like this, and, and anyone might like hearing this. And just because I went off on it in a different review. Um, you know, the style, it has the, the checkbox, right? Or the, the checklist you're supposed to hit. And I like that. I want that, right? And then sometimes your expectations get subverted. This is one of those where it checks a lot of those boxes that, you know, it should, right? But then it has a couple other different things. That mystery melon thing is kind of interesting. How the bitterness hits is, is more interesting. Um, so it kind of is like pulling my attention back in, which is cool. So yeah, I, I think this is quite good. And uh, well done everywhere if anyone from the brewery is watching. Uh, have you guys had this beer before? Uh, what are your thoughts on it? Have you had different beer from this brewery? Anything, everything, comment section below. Let's get a conversation going. Once you're done doing that, make sure you check them out on Instagram and Untapped. It's no hype beer reviews at both those places. So please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly... Imbibe. Cheers, everyone.